Hello, I'm Michael Neese and I'm with the uh, Meter Subject Matter Expert Team here at Schneider Electric. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about our ION 8650 meters. Uh, so this is our utility grade revenue uh, based meter and it's a 0.1 accuracy class meter. Built into the meter are function blocks that allow us to help you to uh, customize the meters to a variety of different programs. This is also a power quality based meter. Uh, so we capture everything from sag swells, transients, harmonics on your devices. Uh, we also capture flicker. Uh, and we have the ability to have dual waveform capture on the meters themselves. So what that means is that will allow you to have uh, sag swells at a slower uh, sample rate that will allow you to capture a uh, wider resolution on those waveform captures. And when you have a transient come in, which is a much faster, higher spiked event, uh, we're going to capture that at a much faster sample rate uh, so that you're going to get more resolution on that waveform capture itself. Uh, so that's going to allow you to capture any power quality events that you may see on your grid or even coming into some uh, high, high uh, end users such as industrial or commercial customers that you may have on your system. Also on the meters, uh, we are going to have a variety of different ways to communicate to different devices that you may have on your system. We can communicate with generators, uh, breakers, uh, pretty much anything that you may have out there. Uh, so the meter itself talks a variety of different communication protocols. Uh, those include Modbus protocol, it includes DNP to go back to stuff like your SCADA systems, uh, and it's also going to include IEC 61850 to future-proof that meter just in case that comes down the pipe uh, later on. Uh, so with this functionality of communication protocols and flexibility, uh, that's going to allow you to also master different devices that you have on your system. So that includes things such as uh, talking to a breaker, or talking to a generator, or even talking to other meters on your system. So that allows us to totalize on the devices themselves. Uh, we can bring back that information, then serve that up to your DNP systems, and that reduces the amount of manual work that, you're, that a lot of your standard utility customers are doing on Excel spreadsheets. Uh, so it's a very, very flexible meter as far as that goes. On the ION 8650 meter, we have three levels of the meter itself. There is an A version, a B version, and a C version. Your A version is going to be the most robust of the three types, and your C meter is going to be your more basic. Uh, basically what you get uh, within those three packages is if we start with the C level, that's your basic type of revenue grade meter uh, where you're, you're going to direct that towards your different uh, utility customers that are focused more on just revenue metering itself. What you get when you get to the B level is advanced communications on that type of device. So that basically means that you're going to get that Modbus mastering capability. So with that Modbus mastering capability, you're going to get the ability to talk with different devices that you may have on your system. That could be other meters, that could be generators, uh, breakers, or any other types of devices that you may have on your system that are talking Modbus. At the A level, those are really focused more towards your power quality uh, customers. So you may put those on industrial uh, customers that you may have on the system. You also put those typically at inner ties and things of that nature. Uh, and those are going to help you to capture all the different types of power quality events that you have on your system. So if you need to do waveform capture for sag swells or transients that you may have on your system, that's where we're going to use those types of A devices.